Hi, Mystery Recapped here. Today, I am going to explain a Thai comedy youth drama film called Ugly Duckling Series. Don't. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Mei Nam is an extremely shy and insecure teenage girl who wears a box over her head at all times. She suffers from a strange condition that causes her to hate her own face. She genuinely believes that she is the ugliest person to exist on the planet and has to be hidden from people. In fact, she hasn't looked at herself in the mirror for over three years and has not stepped outside the house either. Mei Nam lives with her brother, Pla Wan, and her father, Mr. Bon, who are always worried about her. One evening, Pla Wan returns home with a bruised elbow and admits to shoplifting. To save himself from getting in trouble, he diverts his father's attention to his sister, being a total psycho. Because of her condition, Mei Nam also gets frequent panic attacks and has difficulty breathing when she is anxious. Pla Wan's comment hurts her, making it difficult for her to breathe. Mr. Bon, who has gotten used to her reactions over the past years, helps her calm down. Mei Nam then narrates the story of her life in her blog about how she became an ugly duckling. It may be surprising to people that for the first 13 years of her life, Mei Nam was like any normal person. She had friends, a social life, and was confident about herself. But then, in middle school, she fell in love with the most handsome boy in her class. She was so head over heels for him that one day, she confessed her love in front of everyone. However, to her dismay, the boy did not reciprocate her feelings. Instead, he threw her gift to the ground and called her the ugliest girl ever. He even asked her to wear a bag over her head, declaring her face to be a jump scare. All of her classmates followed the guy's lead and called her ugly. The incident was so traumatizing for the poor girl that she shut out from everyone around her and refused to go to school again. Mr. Bond tried his best to convince her otherwise, but upon realizing that she is facing a real problem, he let her get homeschooled. After the incident, Mei Nam didn't look at herself in the mirror for a year and didn't go outside at all. That is, until one day she was outside the house trying to retrieve a stuck balloon. A stranger approached and offered her help. Mei Nam immediately put a paper bag over her head to hide her face. At that moment, she realized that the most confidence she feels is when her face is covered. The position of the bag felt just right, almost as if she had found her soulmate. And hence, since that day, she has never shown her face to anyone. Eventually, the bag turned into a box because it was more sturdy. Her family gets a glimpse of her face sometimes, but Maynon prefers to stay hidden, even from them. She hardly allows herself to look into the mirror. Maynon enjoys most of her time by anonymously talking to people on social media. She feels more in place online, since no one can see each other's faces. The next day, Mr. Bon goes to her doctor and asks for an instant cure for her sickness. The doctor clarifies that Maynam is not sick. She has a strange condition famously known as hikikomori in Japan. It mainly affects adolescents or young adults who live isolated from the world, locked in their bedroom for days, months, or even years, refusing to communicate with anyone. According to the doctor, Maynam's case is not that serious because she still talks to her family, which means she has a chance of socializing with other people if she is forced to go out. Her only problem is that she is scared. The doctor advises Mr. Bond to get his daughter out before she cuts off her family as well. At dinner, Maynam uses a straw to eat, refusing to take the box off. In a heavy voice, Mr. Bond asks his children to listen to him carefully. The siblings do not let him talk and assume either he has cancer or he is gay. Mr. Bond puts down both claims and reveals that he wants Mei Nam to go to school with her brothers, starting tomorrow. Mei Nam thinks he is joking and retaliates as he had expected, but this time, Mr. Bond doesn't give in to her stubbornness and is adamant about his decision. Even Pla Wan is surprised by his father's persistence. Mei Nam declares that she hates him and storms off to her room. She cries for the next hour, nervous about tomorrow. She is certain that everyone will bully her for the box. Still, she prefers being bullied to being called ugly. To make her feel better, Plawan brings her a new box to replace the old one and offers to help her decorate it. Following that, she takes off the box for the first time and reveals her face that is anything but ugly. Plawan assures her that he won't let people make fun of her, but it doesn't make her feel better. Then, the siblings decorate the new box for Mei Nam. The following morning, Mr. Bond drives his children to school. While Plawan gets out of the car and walks in, Mei Nam starts to hyperventilate under the box. 
Mr. Bond plays calming music to help her and motivates her to go in. Minam apologizes for saying mean thanks to him last night and thanks him for trying to help her. As soon as she leaves, Mr. Bon also breaks down crying, worried for his daughter. Minam holds her breath and finally walks into the school. The big bright box on her head does not go unnoticed. Everyone starts to point at her and whisper, which makes her panic even more. Their laughs remind her of the day she was humiliated all those years ago. Maynam gets dizzy and is about to pass out, but a guy comes to help her right on time. He also has a helmet on, which makes her feel a bit better. The guy introduces himself as Minton, but she gets nervous and runs away. While she is at it, she accidentally bumps into the school's most popular guy, Zero. He and his group of friends ask her to take the box off, curious about her looks. When Maynam refuses to do so, they surround her and try forcing it off. They are stopped by Minton, who takes off his helmet and reveals his face. Zero and Minton stare at each other in anger and decide to solve the conflict outside school. Minton then holds Maynam's hand and takes her away. In the following scene, she is nervously standing in front of the class. The teacher has been told about her condition, so she requests the students to respect her privacy. But being typical teenagers, they start to bully her, urging her to show them her face. Minton is also in the same class and is angered by his classmates' behavior. Maynam quietly walks to the last seat and stays with her head down most of the time. During the lunch break, she goes to the cafeteria looking for her brother, but cannot find him anywhere. The students do not stop staring and talking about her. A pair of guys see her eating with the box on her head and force her to take it off. Everyone sees them bullying her, but laughs instead of helping. Eventually, Maynam leaves her food unfinished and runs outside crying. When she is alone in the playground, Minton suddenly appears beside her. He is wearing a helmet which she thinks is to mock her for her box. Minton clarifies that he just likes the way he looks with the helmet. He then shares his sandwich with her because she couldn't eat earlier. Maynam feels a lot more comfortable talking to him after that. They joke around and laugh, but then she says that she won't be coming to school the next day. Minton declares that he is her friend and urges her to come, even if it's only for him. After school, Minton and the bully Zero meet as they had promised. They get into a verbal altercation because of their differences. Minton insults Zero for always walking around with his minions and challenges him to a one-on-one -on -one fight. Zero takes it and steps forward after asking his friends to stay back. Minton lands the first punch, but Zero fights back with an equally powerful blow. Maynam is making her way back home when she witnesses them wrestling. Suddenly, the police arrive and the guys have to separate. Zero sees her on his way out and pulls her along with him. After running off to a quiet area, he forces the box off her head. In a climactic scene, he lays eyes upon her face and is left speechless at the sight. But Maynam thinks that he is staring at her because she is ugly. The memories of her past trauma keep playing in her head and she passes out. When Maynam finally wakes up, she finds herself in the hospital bed without her box. She immediately starts to panic and has to be given a face mask to calm down. Her father is very sorry that he forced her to go to school. He blames himself for getting her hospitalized and allows her to stay home as she wanted. To everyone's surprise, Maynam declares that she wants to return to school only because she wants to take revenge on Zero for forcing her to take the box off. The following day, Zero is on his own, thinking about Maynam. He is confused as to why she would cover up her face when she is so beautiful. Just then, Maynam arrives and slaps him in the face for what he did yesterday. When his minions try to get close to her, Zero stops them. He yet again tries to take her face mask off, but is stopped by Minton. They get into another fight because of her, but she stops them both and brings them aside. By now, news about the two handsome guys fighting for the boxhead girl has circulated around the school. Maynam yells at the guys for making her life even more difficult. When Minton says he only wanted to help her, Zero laughs. He is sure that Minton is attracted to her like he is. Minton also senses that Zero is trying to get with Maynam and asks him if it is true. A flustered Zero denies it, calling Maynam ugly. The comment reminds her of her trauma and makes her fall unconscious again. Minton helps her while Zero is left behind, jealous. The next day, Maynam goes back to her insecure phase. She refuses to come out of her room or talk to anyone. Mr. Bon and Ploan are discussing what they can do to help her when someone calls them from outside their house. Zero has come to apologize to Maynam for his mistake, but Plawan refuses to let him in, accusing him of sending Maynam back to the spiral of depression. 
The next morning, Minton comes to cheer her up, but she refuses to let him inside her room. Upon his repeated requests, she wears a face mask and meets him. To her surprise, he has made a duck box that she can use to cover her face. Maynam cannot help but burst out laughing at the sight. He has also made a duck helmet for himself. They wear their respective headgear and go to start a band called Daft Punk. Actually, they just eat together. Minton promises to take care of her and convinces her to come back to school. The next morning, he drives her to school with him. When Maynam is alone, Zero approaches her and tries to apologize, but Plawan disturbs them and sends him away. Later, during class, a girl named Ozone approaches Maynam and asks her for a favor. It turns out that a rumor about Maynam and Zero dating has been circulating around the school. Since he might listen to her, Ozone wants Maynam to stop him from bullying people. Maynam denies having anything to do with him and storms away. Even during the lunch break, a crowd of people ask her for similar favors, but she turns them all down. But then, she is informed that Zero is beating up her brother. On running to check up on him, she finds Zero's friends beating him to the ground. Zero makes them stop and claims that Plawan started the fight. A furious Maynam calls him out for being a thief who bullies weak students for money and homework. Zero looks at his minions in disbelief because he had ordered them to never bully someone weaker than them. When Maynam asks him to stop hurting people, he, in turn, urges her to take her box off. If she does so, he promises to never use violence for personal gain. With no other way to help everyone, Maynam takes the box off and reveals her face. Everyone is shocked at the sight. Later, she hugs Minton, crying that everyone saw her today. He is surprised to see her for the first time, but focuses on calming her instead. Later at home, Plawan shows her all the comments under a picture someone posted of her. Although the comments are positive, it doesn't convince Maynam that she is beautiful. Then, she enters her room and sees the window is open. Zero appears out of nowhere and asks her to be quiet. He apologizes for calling her ugly and admits that she is in fact the most beautiful girl he has ever seen. After he leaves, his words keep on repeating in Maywan's mind. She asks her internet friend to look at a picture of her on the school's page. When the friend gushes about how cute she looks, Maynam finally realizes that they must be telling the truth. For the first time in more than three years, she brings out a mirror and discovers that she is actually beautiful. She almost does not believe her eyes. The following day, Maynam goes to school without the box. All the students stare at her and gossip, but this time, they are not making fun of her, but are rather admiring her beauty. Although nervous, Maynam is ready to start a new life with confidence she never had before. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.